I met him coming, I was going to a drugstore, he was coming out of it, and he stopped me and asked me whose little girl I was. That's how we met. And that must have been, ooh, I don't know what year. See, well, it seems like I've known him forever since I knew met him in 41 or 2. But anyway, um, you want to know the story of Satendal? <laughs> well, he called me one day and asked me to come and help him write A Drum is a Woman, which was a commissioned work. And I asked him how I could help him, and he said, don't work, you know. So I went. He was playing Cleveland. I got in that evening, sent my bags up, and went to the club. And he saw me and, and walked around, you know, meeting other people and blah, 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 and I was watching him. And he came to me finally. So what, years later, and I was working Toledo, and so was he. We were talking, and I asked him to write a song for my act, and he said that he had written some for me already. And I said, what, you know? And Satin Doll was one of them, and I don't remember any of the others, because I used that already, you know? And so I told him that, I said, I used Satin Doll. So he said, well, I wrote it for you, you know? And I said, oh, sure, and I let it go. But on reflection, much later, many weeks later, I realized it could be true because when I was sitting at the bar waiting for him to get off there in Cleveland, I was smoking with a cigarette holder and watching him over my shoulder. <laughs> so it could be true. Cigarette holder, which wigs me over her shoulder, she digs me out, cat'n, that satin doll.